So I think about comprehension quite a bit, and I wonder what other people think when they hear the term comprehension. I know that for many years, when I thought about comprehension, I thought about student products. I thought about what students were able to do, the way that they could express their understanding, whether I asked them a question orally or I asked them to write a response to a question. But much more recently, I've realized that comprehension is more than a product. In fact, it involves many different language and cognitive processes and skills. The work of researchers have really guided me in my thinking about this. If you're familiar with Alice Scarborough's Reading Rope, you know that she's identified those contributors to word recognition and language comprehension that allow for us to become skilled readers to read the words and to make meaning automatically. When I think about her work, I think about that identification of language processes and what they are and how they can contribute to the making of meaning. You know, it's one thing to have a high quality product, but the reality is you don't get a product unless you have effective and efficient processes. So what are those processes? Well, Hollis tells us that for one, Students have to have a command of vocabulary. They need breadth, many, many words that they recognize. They need depth, they need to own words, and they need precision, the ability to use words in a very precise way. Coupled with that is their background knowledge, this accumulation of facts, experiences, concepts, ideas that we accumulate over time in different ways. Additionally, when that reader comes to print, not only do they have to make meaning of the words and incorporate their background knowledge, they have to actually deal with the sentences, the way the words are put together. I think oftentimes we don't think enough about these language structures, about the syntax or the order of words, um, a purposeful order to convey meaning. And I think that sentence comprehension can be a sticking point for many of our students. She also identifies literacy knowledge as being particularly important. And that's really a specialized type of background knowledge. It's the knowledge that we bring of how print presents in text, as well as the different structures, discourse structures or text structures that the author uses to convey purpose. For instance, narrative or informational text. Last but not least, we have to think about verbal reasoning, another strand of language comprehension. When our students are able to use these processes and skills, they're able to not only make meaning at the surface level of the text, thinking about the exact words and the sentences that the author has used to convey their intent, but they're able to integrate the meaning within and between those sentences. They're able to incorporate background knowledge, make inference, so to go below the surface of the text and ultimately to construct an overall understanding of text. After all, comprehension is really all about extracting and constructing meaning. I think for all of us as educators, the major question is, what can we do about this? Or what should we do about this? The informed educator, in order to make effective instructional decisions, first of all, has to have this knowledge base. We have to recognize that the products are important. We want our students to be able to express understanding, but we have to work hard at developing those processes and skills. We need to be using evidence-based materials, strategies, activities. In other words, we should be using a structured literacy approach an approach in which instruction is explicit, it's scaffolded, it's cumulative, it's diagnostic. Only when we have a knowledge base of the research behind reading comprehension, a knowledge base of those strategies and activities that are related and relevant to these specific strands of the reading rope, only then are we able to design and deliver instruction for all students and then differentiate comprehension instruction for those students who are struggling with any one of those strands or language processes. If they don't have all those skills in place, then their comprehension is jeopardized. 
And the reality is the goal of reading is learning. And if we don't comprehend what it is that we're reading, then our learning is diminished.